What's up, guys? Good morning on this beautiful Aloha Saturday. Good, Good afternoon, whatever. <laughs> and anyway, I got a million distractions going on right now, but I keep it real, see? Because I'm of the flesh. You guys, get it? Got the vacuum going on right now. The old me wanna say, shut up. But guess what? That's all flesh. I kind of started to like this spiritual battle that I that I get to in, 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 engage in on a daily basis right now that we choose to live one day at a time. We are forced to live one day at a time. No plans for tomorrow, no gym plans for tomorrow, no camping plans for next weekend or next month. All we got is today. And that's how God made it to be in the Bible. And I'm gonna speak right over that vacuum right now with all love and fire that's coming out of my mouth from the Holy Spirit. So anyway, we're gonna be going over the book of Revelations, chapter one, verse one. First, I did some research this morning in my Bible commentary. Bible commentary is awesome, and it was saying, book of Revelation, first off, again, there's a vacuum cleaner going in the background, a distraction that, whether it's from the enemy or not, I ain't gonna let it bother me. Even though it is, I'm gonna still bore through through the power of the Holy Spirit. So stay with me, gang, okay? We're doing this, we ain't stopping. We fighters, fighters, scrappers. And again, I'm doing this in honor. The red rag is to honor my brother, my Uso David Salamua from MWH Mary Housing. BSP Bloods, we used to be a gang called BSP Bloods, Bad Samoan Bloods. The BSP Marys always had hearts. Those Usos always had hearts. We wasn't the biggest Samoans. We was like smaller than everybody else, but we had the heart to get down toe to toe with any other housing on the island or anywhere in the world for that matter. Uh, just as we did back in the breakdancing days, we could talk with New York City Breakers and, and Los Angeles only in Oahu was prime, but no, no, nothing bad about the other places. But anyway, gotta go fast now. So anyway, back to my brother, David Salomo, we love you. Merites always took us in, Japanese, black, Vietnamese, um, Hawaiian, we had every nationality that the, that, that the homeboys from Merites brought into, our, into their family. But from bad Samoan bloods, we are now representing the blood of Jesus that we wear on our head and wear on our hearts, loud and proud. Um, but uh, this, with this said, again, we, we say this in love. I will see my brother David, I'll see you Salomo up in heaven. And, and that's like a real soon, real soon. Uh, Cause we are moving into the end times as we speak. So today I'm going over the book of Revelations. And it is a book of Revelation chapter one just verse one one verse you can take it apart and dig through it like like a fat meaty steak plate and just tear apart tear it up for your vegans you can tear apart a fat vegan plate whatever that may look like um anyway so go you read chapter chapter one verse one verse okay. one this is a revelation of jesus christ which god gave him to show his servants that events that must soon take place he sent an angel to present to present this revelation to this servant John who faith who faith okay that's, that's one. Oh yeah verse one enough okay now so what is saying first of all revelation means um a word it's it means unveiling unveiling or disclosure okay so what it is is the is God is unveiling what's gonna happen in Revelation now this is the end of the Bible this is the end of the book so it's end game like Avengers end game but end of the world meaning he's gonna bring us into the new world that he has prepared for those who love him him is jesus christ okay so with that being said now remember now it, revelation can sound pretty scary if you do not have a relationship with the lord a true relationship meaning get on your hands and knees and just ask god to talk start with you join, give him the first fruits of your day um uh, I'm getting some distraction again. Ding, ding, ding. But it's all good. I love it. That means I'm on the right track. It lets me know that really in the right direction. I'm moving in the right direction. When the enemy throws distractions, it's a great thing. Anyway, so here we go. So it is the unveiling of the things yet to come. This little, I mean, this COVID-19 is, is a beginning. We don't know how bad it's going to get. But as a true believer, I don't really, I, I, I. <laughs> Distraction, get off the screen. Do my part as as a as a as a soldier and a loss prevention agent for the Lord. Um, so we gotta be crafty in a ways. Um, go inside there like uh, with our vice uniform and, and and just 
be, be invisible. Be invisible like how God made King David to Saul. When Saul and him was in pursuit of him, they could not find him. God made him like invisible. Anyway. So, revelation means unveiling. It's the unveiling of the things that need to come. And it goes down. Yeah. It says, okay. Revelation of Jesus Christ can mean it comes from Christ or it is about him. In this case, most likely both. Since he is the subject of the entire book. This book being the Holy Bible. Which is the only Bible book. No add-ons or add-ins. Period. Christ's servants are believers. The phrase must shortly come. Must shortly take place. Which is, um, let's see. Okay, that must shortly take place. I got it here. Hold on. Okay, so right here. The things which, okay, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his bond servants, the things which must shortly take place. Now, my uh, Bible commentary says this, yeah? Okay, it says, um, must short, the phrase must shortly take place is an allusion to Daniel 2, 28, 29, 45. Shortly seems to indicate the things that must come to pass in the last days. So these things have to happen. All, you, all the things you see happen now, it has to happen. But so the idea is this, yeah? We, all, we have to remember always to say this in love. Stay in a picture, I told you. <laughs> always say this in love um, because Jesus did this for everybody. He, he, God sent him to earth to die for everybody's sins because we are made of sins. We are fleshly. This very flesh is rotten. It's, it's, it's rotten, made of flesh. 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 Made of flesh came from Adam and Eve. But anyway, with that said and done, um, just 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 know always you can come to him. Better come to him now and ask him to come into your life and speak to you, reveal himself to you as he always already did. I don't know how old you are, but your whole life he's revealed himself to you. Through, whether it's through creation, through you see the birds, the mountains, the clouds, the rains, the sun, whatever it may be that you love, he's revealed it that way. But now you just got to come to the creator of come to the potter for we're just a lump of clay that he molds and shapes in this life but the end's getting real 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 um close to the end so ask jesus into your life with all all love i say this in love okay anyway heavenly father in the name of jesus thank you lord for um for this awesome uh for speaking through me just to share with those who might be watching out there i thank you father we love you lord we pray that you touch their hearts that people will realize it's all about you and they need to hang on to you when the when things gets worse it's going to be crazy men are going to be fainting out of fear um we do not we will not be here when you come to get us and we just thank you uh again we love you praise you in jesus name amen